Then it's fucking dead on arrival. Yeah, there's a sign up on their on the website if you want to join it. Make sure you get your um beta access. Nice barrel there. They've crossed. Good flash. Flash for flash. My hands are stained. You guys your camp. Choose your own path. Just run back to lane. Yeah. Mm -mm, mm -mm. How are you doing? Doing good, bro. Doing good. We just finished playing some uh, Street Fighter with my boy McBase, and uh, we came back to play. Play some League of Legos with this uh, GP right now. Hopefully this isn't worded. Oh, all right, we lost the game. GG. Hi, right, Crazen. See ya, bro. Okay, now we're good. We're good. He didn't stop my recall again, thankfully. Nice, nice. He's not able to crash it completely there. Good, good. I should have actually suicided after I killed him. I got first blood, right? I think him getting the kill and me getting my recall from death is better. Hmm? Or is it? No, it probably isn't actually. Crazy that I even had to think about that stuff. You really don't like the situation with it? Yeah, I don't like it either, man. I, I, I don't like it either. That's like the the one thing this season that's like... Fucked up. Depends if it gives him Sheen now. I don't think he had enough for Sheen with that. Darius went. Sorry, bro. Not happening. I'm too uh, Fiora up. I'm here trying to like maximize my Fiora. Executed. My spirit is not lost. I'm like, Baze, you know, I was talking to Sniper yesterday. I was uh, congratulating him and stuff on the LCS, uh, how he's been doing and all that. And I was like, dude, I'm so sad that Riot's like holding you back so hard. And he's like, what do you mean? I'm like, you killed, you killed Impact in, in, in solo lane. You killed Impact in solo lane like fucking three times. And every single time he spawned in like three seconds, I got back to lane and didn't do shit. And so it's like, and you guys ended up losing the game anyway. And he was like, wait, when did they change that? When did they change the respawn timers? And I was like, oh, like like a month or two ago. And he's like, what? I didn't know that. <laughs> and then I was like, dude, in season eight, you would have killed him. He would have been dead for 16 seconds, man. Yeah, he didn't know, man. He didn't know. He didn't know how hard Dryad's gatekeeping him. I was telling him in stream, I was like, dude, back then, since the, the individual players got rewarded so much, you would see, like, these people pop off in pro play, right? And they would make montages out of them, because they would they would 1v5 the game, legitimately, if they were, like, outplaying their counterpart that hard. And you would get those, like, really, really cool montages, right? 
I was saying, I was like, dude, you could, you, they, they could probably make one a sniper, fucking one v five in games like that, dude. And that would have been sick, because people love watching, um, people love watching the one v fives, right? Or like just the, the constant. Uh, where the fuck is the fucking? Where's this thing? This thing. Yeah, yeah, I was like, dude, it, it would have been sick to watch that, right? Just that constant domination, like that I'll play, but that the the dumbing down, like, and the comeback mechanics make it so much, like, it makes it so much sleep, sleepier for the spectators as well. I don't think they realize that. I don't think that's like, um, I, I don't think they realize how hard they're fucking up that, like, the spectating part of the game. For um for babysitting, you know what I'm saying? I don't think I, I don't think they realize how hard they're fucking that up. Do they even care? I mean, I think they do because, I, but I don't think they realize um, how much it hurts the game long term. I think they're looking at it in short term. They're looking at like player frustration and things like that, and they're like. Oh, people st spend less time dead, so they're having more fun. They're, it's like like some Call of Duty shit. But they don't realize that the main reason people play this game is like for the competitive aspect. They don't play it. Well, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they play it more for the casual. I, I don't. I don't really know. But yeah, that, that, that's the thought that I had. Now I was like, wait, like they don't realize they're actually killing their own game with that, like really, really badly. They really don't realize it. Violence to end violence. Watching someone be playing pro is boring. I am out. <laughs> I think for everyone, including me, like ninety nine percent of people would agree, watching, for example, Faker dominate games from mid lane with dead and all this other shit was fucking um, beautiful dude when i watched world the world championship and in like season two type assassins and all that other stuff with toys i think if i remember if, if i was if i remember correctly and all that that was peak bro i looked at that shit i was like wow i want to play this game this is fucking god like this is amazing if i just watch five teams farm for 30 minutes and then have like calculated team fight off a of farm like this this and that it makes me fucking want to puke like like it's it, it's so unfun as a spectator and it also takes away a lot of like individual skill for like yeah i don't know man. that's the way i look at it anyway like it'd be like that Yeah, like I got into this game for the individual aspect, like people are, like shining so much in in the, uh, the with the team aspect, right? So it, it was like individual potential plus teamwork. Because they were like, damn, this team's really good, but bro, they got Faker. Oh shit, they got Faker. Yeah, bro, like, dude, this guy's gonna fucking kill everyone, no matter who he's going against. Like that, that individual aspect is what, is what makes this game so godly. Good news, you get team disparity this game. Oh, yeah, probably. No, I'm gonna try to carry it. I'm gonna try to see if I can carry it. I'm actually gonna put some effort in this game. Try to like sweat it out. I wanna, I wanna make my team win this game. I need a little bit more for this. So they're all gonna be topside here. I gotta play this one. It's Braum, huh? I'm gonna I'm gonna throw her to the Nautilus here. There we go. Wait. Oh, he doesn't have ults. Oh my god. Wait, why did he do that if he doesn't have ult? Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, why do you do that? Odd. Oh yeah, I can still win this game. It's gonna be... I just need to get to my item spikes, but still, it's gonna be really hard. Every single game, I end up saying that, it's like, oh, this game's gonna be really hard. <laughs> like... Just because it's all like so spread out, shutdowns, fucking death timers, this and that, this and that. It's like they really, they really made this game hard for no reason. Come on, come on, Lee. Let's go, Lee, come on. There we go. We can keep chasing, can keep chasing, keep chasing. What the f What was that? Dude, that bug is happening all the time. I did. <laughs> oh my god, I done. Oh, good news, I got my item. Kill him. <gasps> Lee Sin! How do you miss that Q? He wasn't moving! No shot! It was like packet loss to me. No, that's not packet loss. It's a bug. It's a, it's a bug this patch where like people you hover over to them when they go out of vision for like one second, right? And then you look back at them and they just skip across the screen because the server's like, oh yeah, no, he actually wait, he was here and then it shows you like a wrong thing. It, it it's not packet loss. I promise you. Come on, hit him with a Q. My god, my man. You gotta hit one thing, man. I gotta send you the fucking... I gotta send you the Eric video after this one. The how to hit skill shots video. And it's really for fun region. Now, APGP is, uh, is actually viable, man. Have you seen uh, Solar do it? He did it in uh, Grandmaster EU and all those other like MMRs. I, I don't know if he actually got to challenge her with it, but it's actually not bad. Yeah, no, it's a it's an actual thing. His ultimate hurts like crazy, and the barrel still fucking one tap you. What conflict awaits? Because it was inferior to AD. No, I'm sure, but I'm saying it's still a thing. How should I proceed? Yeah, 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 I'm leaving. My spirit is not lost. I don't get it. They, they ping that uh, their whole team is coming to kill me, and then they run into them. You see that? They're like, hey, Riven, they're coming to chase you, right? So then what do, they, what do they do? They run into the people they pick me away from. At least I told myself I started this game. Dude, I've had so many coaching sessions 
where like I ask the person I'm uh, I want like that needs co like wants coaching. It's like, well, what's your goal? What are you trying to do? Right? And they tell me they're like, I want to get to an elo where people know how to play the game and we can play teamwork and strategy. So many. I'm talking like hundreds of people think that. And, I'm, and then I just tell them I'm like, that's not actually happening. By the way, like you're not gonna get to that point. I'll reset here. They're gonna just go for the dragon. They don't want to chase me. Yeah, it's like it's like I had to tell them. It's like, dude, no, that that that, that thing that what you're describing that doesn't exist. Like, that's that's not an actual thing. You can you, if you want to play like that, you need to play like like four, with four people that you enjoy playing with, and then doing like actual team game, right? Like, um, <laughs> even if you don't want to do it like super competitively, but like people within your own skill level and then just build a team, play flex, that type of thing, that's what you're looking for. Choose your own path. I mean, I think it's normal for people to think that, though, you know, going into like, in, going into it, going like, oh yeah, I um, I want to be able to get to an elo where people play strategy and all that. One of the biggest things that stops that from actually happening in a, in a solo queue environment, though, is not not having voice chat. If we had voice chat, we'd be able to um, potentially fix that somewhat by yourself in solo queue, right? By being like someone who can like, you can you can learn how to do like, um shot calling right but if they don't give it to you then it's like what do you do right so the community is ready for voice chat i think there's too many win traders and there's too much like too many grief things in high elo and league at least in na to make voice chat like really useful i would probably i would almost never turn it on personally but that's more of like a culture Thing, right? At the end of the day, you know what the best way of playing this game is? With four people you trust, you build like a little team, whatever it might be, like team 5v5s, and that's how you play the game. That's that's the best way of enjoying League of Legends. Because League is actually a good game, it's just solo queue is uh, definitely rough for like 99% of people. You have no idea how many, yeah, you have no, no idea how many uh, Chinese tags tell my mom to go sky boom every, uh, every time when they're win trading. Like, because they're win trading, they're getting paid for trading the games, and then on top of it, they're just flaming 24 7 for funsies. So. <laughs> Imagine having to voice chat with them, too. Yeah, I got my flash in 70 seconds. 70 seconds. Let's see what we can do here. I look for a kill angle with a cast and a sign. What conflict awaits? Okay. <laughs> yeah, literally, that's, 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 that's literally the solo queue with them all the time, dude. Forfeit, I can defend, I got flash. They don't even have a wave. Don't forfeit, don't forfeit, it's not over. They have no minion wave. Okay, I'm gonna keep pushing, they actually have no minion wave, they can't end it. How should I proceed? 
Uh, I'm gonna recall here though. I can't really push this. I don't have a wave either. They have shields? They don't. Get a cast him. Why would he take it? See, like, for example, this Nautilus is someone that I would think, like, oh, this guy might be win trading, right? And it's like, probably voice chatting with him wouldn't be the greatest idea. <laughs> but yeah. Update at 1 versus Hypa going 1 and 8 on cast hop. Better top lane wins. Hell yeah. Can you tell him to come here and tell us about that? I want him to tell me how much top lane matters. Okay. Well, sadly, I don't have flash this time around. To um, really fuck them over now. Team die. How should I proceed? Your turret has been destroyed. All right, let's go for the lethality last was for now. Mm -hmm. I do have flash for the next fight, though. that's pretty important. Level 17, and everyone else is level 11 in my team. Actually, wait, no, 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 that's just the... My hands are stained. Okay. 
I go this way and then I go down here again. Parents up in 59. My spirit is not lost. Mm. Love that thing. Baron up in 46. Need to go prep for that. I'm gonna get my last. What's up, OG? OG, you missed my first attempt with um, with McBay's earlier. It was fun, man. Mm, let's just wait for. Let's play it safe. And he like walks in and does. See, what I'm saying like this thing where he just walks in there. It's crazy. Insane. Striver Street Fighter 6. No, Street Fighter 6. Street Fighter 6. That's the only game I get back base will play, man. He says um, Dragon Ball and Strive are too hard for him, man. Actually, not Strive. Dragon Ball specifically. I guess he would play Strive. I'm gonna keep going here. I'm just hovering a bit. Not actually doing anything here. Why, did, why didn't Casting keep pushing? Wait, what? Guys, the base though. Guys, the base. Hello? Like, yeah, no, no, this is, this is such, like, like, I can't, like, they, they literally just, what is this? What is that? I'm telling you, that has to be, like, win trade for sure. Like, I guarantee someone got paid for this.